All right, folks, we're at uh, the entrance to the Diamond Peaks climb, North Diamond Peak. Uh, that is the Noku Crags over there. You'll be running around that on race day, right around mile 12, 13. Uh, Diamond Peaks here. Um, this is the entrance in there. Uh, that's going to be about mile 18 on race day. We're just going in to cut out a few last trees and I'm going to get, uh, get the route marked up through the woods there up to Timberline and uh, if I've got time I'm going to put some pin flags up to the top too. Alright here we are coming up uh, that little kind of logging connector road uh, about to hit the Diamond Peaks ATV road trail. It's going to take us up to our logging cut which is the final shot for, uh, for the summit. So this is going to be race day, you're going to hit the Diamond Peaks two track here, hang your right start heading up the hill. A couple of ATVs just blew by. Wanted to thumb down a little ride, but I don't know. Too proud maybe. Probably wouldn't have stopped. Two track. Keep banging on up the hill here. Saw's heavy. But we'll get there. I'm gonna cut out those couple of big logs and I'm gonna stash the saw in the woods and get me a summit. All right, so this is the ATV trail plateaus out a little bit, a little traverse over to the climb up to North Diamond. So you're gonna wanna take advantage of this on race day. So when you get here, make sure you're running, all right? There's an old lumber camp, sawmill, I'm not quite sure what these uh, piles are, but uh, you know, long history of logging out here in State Forest, there's another lumber pile. Uh, we're going to be cutting through the woods ourselves here real soon, on course. Look at this, we've even got a bit of downhill on the climb. Got to make the most of these, run where you can. Blue skies ahead, but we're heading up here. So this is your turn, and this is where the hoofing, the hoofing really begins up here. So we're going to just kind of cut around this fence right here. Alrighty, I'm going to cut this one out. Get this one taken care of, I think there's a couple more. Alrighty, last log out. Now I get to have a little fun. going to leave the gear there. Whilst I hook for the summit, so I'm going to show you where the uh, the road ends and the trail through the woods begins. So, as you can see here, road tees don't go that way. Don't go that way. We're going this way. Stuck up some blue diamonds. It's official now. This is an old game trail that we're on. It'll kind of peter out to nothing. It's probably about a third of a mile through the woods here. Then we'll be above the trees. No. No. Yes. Okay, let me see if I can do this. One handed, probably not. Well, cheating, two hands. Here we go there. So. Here we go, tracking our way up. <laughs> uh, there it is, all right. We are uh, headed up there. We're essentially above the trees now. 
Now it's just a straight up head down push for the top. So this continues to be awesome. Uh, I'm gonna keep dropping some flags as we ascend. So there are a couple of full summits on the North Diamond. This indeed is one of them. Woo! That my friends. Race day, you're gonna cruise over to the pole. My good buddy Scott Slasher is gonna be up here on the drums. We're gonna have cameras up here. Get your summit pick taken. Take in the 360 woo -hoo, degree views. Here we go. your route out of here on race day right along the ridge there that grassy ridge okay so we're about mile I don't know 20 on the race course up at North Diamond Peak your race is going to start down here somewhere and uh, you're going to come out here uh, climb up to the top of North Diamond or oh, sorry seven Utes which I believe is there uh, drop down the saddle and then come across the side hill here of the ridge um, around and down into the bowl here below Mount Richthofen, that's Lake Agnes and then you're going to come around uh, the Noku Crags right here on the bottom of the crags on the Michigan Ditch Road and then you're going to come back up into the American Lakes up here and then uh, you'll be right down here on the road for a little bit. Um, and then you're just gonna hoof up the hill. Hoof up the hill. Get your summit. Take the picture. Head out here on the ridge. Uh, where's the drop off? The drop off is right about So, uh, yeah, getting up's the easy part. Uh, <laughs> the real madness is running down this thing. But uh, here it goes. Deepest part, I don't know if you can even see down there, but steepest part basically is uh, when you break out above the trees. Once you gain the ridge there, I mean it's high, it's still steep, but it's uh, just head down, get it done kind of stuff. This is really the worst of it. and. Uh, yeah, running down it kind of sucks too, but uh, here we go. <laughs> Crash. It's kind of a trail. 
pretty good game trail it's really just that nasty loose kind of a bit scree with loose dirt section uh, right as you break out above trees probably I don't know 100 150 yards where you got to really watch your step after that it's just steep you can deal with steep right uh, not that way <laughs> oh, shoot. I should have been paying attention now this is why you always need to pay attention on the never summer 100 course you guys probably saw it I missed it of course I am going downhill and it's marked uphill uh, oh here it is Woo! Kid. We're about to hit the road. Pick up the chainsaw. Get out of here. 